I don't know how long this is going to last, but a couple things. So a long time ago, a few months ago, I started streaming some Angband stuff again. I did some Sill. I think I played Paz Cheng for like not very long, the new one. And then uh, I had some ideas about what to do next, and then I didn't do any of those ideas because I started playing near Automata. Wow, was that ever a depressing few dozen hours that I spent on that game. So on Saturday I finished it and I just felt like um, life was meaningless. And I thought, you know, I don't want to play a game again for a while that has like a story. So I came back to this stuff. And I was thinking that I've never really played FA first stage Angban very seriously, or at all really. <coughs> So I'm going to give it a shot. So FA, for those of you who are maybe seeing it for the first time, um, the guy who currently maintains Vanilla Angband, Nick, this I think was the first variant he built. And I think, you know, it's fair to say that um, some of the thinking that went into first stage Angband started to make its way into Vanilla. But first stage was more like Nick you know, doing what he thought was right to do. Vanilla has been much more a community process where, you know, he puts things up for review, people whine about it for a while. He is very patient and then people whine some more and then we kick really old people dragging and screaming into the 80s or something. Um, and then maybe some progress is made. So they've been doing some good stuff there. I think a lot of the refactoring that's been going on has been helping other variant maintainers as well. I don't know how much of that has made it into FA. But the gist of FA has been that uh, the same way that kind of Sill came along later and said, what well, happens if we really focus this game on um, sort of the similar Silmarillion age of Angband? First Age did that, but it stuck more to the vanilla Angband formula. Sill is like a totally different game. FA is more or less Angband, but there's stuff that, like, I don't really know much about the game, so I'm still kind of confused. But the things I do know is that it seems like there aren't uh, experience penalties. Like, so from what I understand, I, I started a new character just because I didn't want to go through all of character creation. But um, you know what? I changed my mind. Let's let's start from scratch. And actually, I may change my mind about who I'm playing because I'm already having second thoughts. So let's start from scratch. I mean, let's see if anybody's watching here. Hi, I'm streaming on twitch.tv slash, uh, who am I? Zero X D. Yeah. Uh, I do want to kind of, um, before we get into this, mention that I haven't really looked at the past videos I uploaded this year or, you know, at the end of last year recently. But I do know there were, a bunch, there were a bunch of comments around, hey, I can't hear your voice. It's not loud enough. Uh, sorry. <laughs> you know, I don't know, man. Like, uh, what I'm trying to do is stream to Twitch and then download the video and then upload to YouTube. When I used to do this straight from my laptop, um, it seemed like the sound balance was better. The, the issue I'm running into right now is that if I jack the vocals high enough, to increase the volume, I also get this hiss, and I don't have time to figure it out. So, sorry, uh, it's probably going to suck for a lot of you. Um, but I'm curious. I did change some things again when I made this recording. Don't know if it's going to make much of a difference or not. That's all I got. Sorry. So let me know if if this is. I mean, I expect it's still an issue, but let me know. <coughs> so anyhow, let's start afresh. So first stage, they have a bunch of options right off the bat. Um, I don't know a lot about them, but basically a couple of the options put you in the wilderness, and a couple of the options um, basically let you just dungeon crawl. It seems like the goal of the game is still to, like vanilla, um, 
destroy Sauron and then destroy Morgoth, but there are multiple dungeons in this game. And from what I remember, beating a dungeon guardian gets you an ability, I think. And I think the dungeon guardians, there's only two. I think there's Ungoliant, and I think there's Mim, the dwarf, the... If I remember correctly, Mim was the dwarf that had something to do with the Silmarils that Fingolfin, uh, not Fingolfin, um, Fionor was kind of shitty too, but, you know, everybody was shitty to the dwarves, so get in line, I guess. Um, I'm just going to go standard wilderness because I don't really know what I'm doing, and I'm probably going to die at level 5 and quit out of frustration and never come back. Uh, there's a lot of options in the UI to pick them. is a lot better than vanilla's used to be when this was released. Mm, so uh, normally I would pick disconnected stairs because that discourages you from uh, stairs coming, which means constantly resetting levels until you get what you want. But I'm not going to do that right now because from what I remember this game is ridiculously hard and I want to be able to run away when I go down the stairs. Uh, disconnected stairs means when I go down a flight of stairs, uh, when I get to the next floor, you know, you would think realistically that I would still be on the stairs to go up, but they disappear. So you can't go back up them. <clears throat> and the reason why that's an issue in most Angban games is that uh, the levels don't tend to be persistent in these games. So if you go down a flight of stairs and then come up, usually it generates a whole bunch of new level, a, whole, a brand new level when you go up. So you can kind of scum the level that you want. In fact, I think in this game there's still an option that says when I go downstairs, I'll just scum for you, <laughs> which is pretty great. Uh, but the rest of these I'm going to keep off, so I don't know. Definitely don't want that. I thought about small device because I think I am playing at pretty low res. Low res. <laughs> you know. Um, but whatever, I'll just leave it like this. Thrall is actually really cool. It dumps you in a very dangerous part of the wilderness at level 1, and you have to basically run like hell until you get someplace that's safe, but um, no thanks, not right now. Okay, so let's try this. Um, so okay, so what I was thinking about doing the first time around, you can see as you go through these characters that, or these races, that they all have different stats and stuff, but they also tell you the hometown, and the hometown has like a danger level. So I think what they tried to do in FA is, um, like in vanilla, uh, this starter race would probably be human. And everybody starts in the same um, town in vanilla over the dungeon. So everybody starts out kind of in the same situation. But what they do is the races that are stronger, um, they give you a penalty to the experience that you gain. So it takes you longer to gain levels as stronger races. I don't know if that's an FA, but it looks like what they've tried to do instead to balance out the character race is that they've gotten the stronger races and they start them in a more dangerous place. So right off the bat, as a gray elf, you start out in Menegroth, which um, enemies are on average level 19. That's a bit of a crawl to get stronger. And I think you need to kind of like scum the wilderness until you can find a dungeon. And I don't know where they are, so I'm playing pretty blind. Um, so what I was thinking about doing, I vaguely remember this as well, but Longbeard um, is pretty buff if you just want to punch things in the face. And they start in a pretty easy area. <coughs> uh, yeah, I mean, what I'm saying doesn't really match up, right? Because the Easterling is not that strong, but they start in a slightly more difficult space. So maybe there's an XP penalty and I just don't know about it. But um, I was originally thinking about Longbeard Paladin. I just clicked through the Paladin and I realized they have the same sort of Dungeons and Dragons equipment restrictions as a priest, which is they can only use weapons that are like blunt or blessed. B and B from D and D. Uh, and I don't have patience for that right now. So I might just pick Warrior and deal with it. Let's try that. I feel like that's a good learning combination. So I'll use the points. Mm. So around the time that this game was made, the way that combat worked in vanilla was that dexterity was pretty important because it governed how many blows you would get. So let's see if I can test that theory. What happens if I jack dex? 
No, my blow surround still stays pretty crummy, so... Um, I, the other thing that happens from games of this era, I think, is that constitution matters a lot once it gets really high, but until it does, it's pretty worthless. So you can kind of skimp on it at the beginning because it makes very little difference in the early game. And it means you only need a few more stat boosting potions when you get the stat gain to kind of make it up. So I think I'll skimp on con a bit and I'll just dump into strength. Wow, we are strong, holy. And dex, let's chill here. How many points do I have left? Three. So, like, that looks alright. Okay. Let's try it. Do our best. Our stealth is terrible, which is kind of... I have a hard time playing low stealth characters in non sill Angband variants, because I get really frustrated when everything wakes up, but... Let's give it a shot. Okay. So, let's see... We don't have much stuff. So the very, oh, I get two specializations? Why? Okay, so this is a very FA specific thing. Um, so there's two things. Based on your race and your class, you get a bunch of sort of attributes. So I guess as a warrior, I am good at shooting. I did not expect that. Um, crowd combat. Cool. So this says that when I get to level 40, I basically get to spread damage. Shield bashes are pretty great. Relentless. That's pretty cool. Wow, warriors get a lot of buffs. I didn't realize this. Or a lot of passives. You, re you obtain relatively specific. I feel like the word relatively and the word specific conflict. <laughs> More specific? Okay, whatever. Um, oh, and I get an extra specialization as a warrior. Interesting. Okay. Dwarves like axes and polearms. Obvious. Dwarves like rubble and mountains. Okay, and I can't be blinded. It doesn't say anything about being terrible at shooting, which I would expect from a dwarf. But let's just go with it. Okay, let's get out of here. So, the way we kick off is that um, there's specializations that you can learn. I don't know, there's a maximum and the number is very small, but, and they also, um, certain ones are only available to certain classes and certain races, I think. <coughs> Oh gosh, I don't know, there's so many good ones. Okay, we're probably not going to be lightly armored ever. So armsmen, extra critical hits are always great, so let's do that. And... Fast attacking sounds good, gives you extra melee attacks, melee attacks, whatever. Better when you have more attacks to begin with. So I don't know, I think a warrior might want to pick some big weapons sometimes, so I don't know if I want that. Marksman, I'm too lazy to shoot, piercing shot, no, allows you to hurl throwing weapons and other objects great distances, that sounds dumb, increases and partially sustains dexterity and constitution, that actually sounds pretty good, allows you to move faster after attacking or being damaged, we're going to get that anyways, that sounds dumb. I mean, realistically, shield mastery sounds good. You get armor and damage. And I don't, I don't think in these older games that you ever have weapons that force you to stop using your shield, right? I think you always get to use a shield. Like, I know in Sil, um, you have two-handed weapons that don't let you wield a shield. I don't think that happens in Paz Chang Band as well. I think in Vanilla, that never happens. Let's see, let's just guess that that never happens. Let's try this. Okay, cool. So with all that, we definitely need to buy a shield. <laughs> let's make sure we have one of those. Uh, and 
it's been ages since I've played these games, so I'll probably need some time before I remember all the commands. Who's, how do you examine? Scruffy little dog. Sorry, bro. So this is something I don't miss about normal variants. It's just random chaff in the towns, but let's... No better way to start out a noble quest than murdering street urchins in the town. So let's go see what's in here. Great, no shields. We have any hardly any money anyways. So from what I remember, normally in um, vanilla, what you would try to do is buy some devices. Oops, I meant to look at you, not hit you. I'm probably just going to die. OK, let's. Now that I'm winning, I kind of want to win. We're good. Come on. Get out of here. Good. Oh, I was hoping that would be a shield. OK. <coughs> uh, so normally in vanilla, what you would do is you would find some, well, first of all, you'd make sure you have a lamp, which we don't. And then you would buy some phase door scrolls, yeah. Just so you can kind of shimmy out of danger if you get into it. So let's go see first if there's a lamp in the general store. Oops. Nice. That was actually useful. So this black market always has um, more random items that often are good. But they overcharge for them, so. Oh, there's more. I could buy a wicker shield. That's very expensive. I really want the shield bashes. Oh my gosh. Get out of here. Okay, so they do have lanterns. 69. Okay, let's do that. I'll take a G. Yep. I'll take an E. Oh, stop that. Get, oh, okay. okay. You need oil to power your lamp there, so. What's this thing? Village idiot. This is really something. I'm actually tempted to go around, okay. And what's that, um, what's that staircase go to? I actually don't know. Oh, okay, that takes you out of the town, into the wilderness. So we have 27 bucks left. Let's go see. I can't remember how much those phase door scrolls were, but let's try. Twenty-nine. <laughs> Arg. Uh, we can sell all our torches, so let's... What? Oh, I have no selling. Haha, <laughs> I forgot. That's the one option I picked. Okay, so no selling what it, I mean, it does what it sounds like. You can't sell things, but monsters drop more money, theoretically. Okay, so we're kind of screwed. We just need to live with this. Uh, let's put this lantern on. Let's drop that. Well, no, we'll keep it. Okay, I think we have to grind a bit. So let's, this is a path to greater danger, duh. Okay, so I guess we're in the wilderness now. Hith, how do you say that? Hithaglir? Hithaglir, whatever. But the two indicates that the danger level is two, which I believe means most of the monsters should be around experience level two. Wow. I don't know if that um, background color on the dude means that he's unaware of us, or if that's the color they give to friendlies. Because he says neutral. That's another different thing from vanilla, I think. Is that um, this game has many more characters that are 
or at all the option of having neutral characters or something. Boss Chang had that too. Lead shots, that sounds heavy for not much value. Get that. Let's just start read IDing things. Purple potion. I don't remember picking solid walls as an option. I guess it's just what happens. Okay, let's kill some ants. Wow, we gained a level already. Nice. Oh, no, we didn't. Never mind. Close, though. Now we did. Can you? Yeah, okay. Oh, cool. You can rest until sunrise or sunset. That's kind of neat. Wow, I did not expect to gain levels this quickly. All right, let's see if tunneling, yeah, okay, tunneling works pretty easily. Oops, did I, whoa, did I just bust through the granite? Holy moly, not bad. Uh-oh. There we go. Cool. There's like a world map. All right, that's it for that. So I believe the people who have like relatively frequently played FA, they have the whole world map in their head, basically. <coughs> and I think it's pretty important to know where the main dungeons are because how's my way blocked? Oh, I'm that guy. Because uh, that's sort of the point. You're trying to find the dungeons. Okay, let's look. You sound harmless. Okay, we got ourselves a face door scroll. Does this give you experience in this game? I can't remember. Seems like not. Uh, scared of a mushroom patch. Wow. Whatever. Light brown potion. I'm less confident to use ID potions. Oh, nice. Hmm. What's the difference between a yellow potion and a blue potion? Oh, I guess I should have known. Okay. If you're watching and you're in the chat, either my Twitch chat or the uh, Angband live chat, I am very open to tips. Because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. This is typically a pretty boring part of any Serious variant, though. I'm trying to think of a scroll you could read that would not be identifiable. That's so odd. Excuse me, bro. Oh my god. What's that? Clear icky thing. Oh my god, an egg band stream. Wow, Esty, I remember you. So do you know anything about FA? I could use some help. The main help I could use is, what do I do first? <laughs> I want to find a dungeon, but I don't even know if that's what you're supposed to do at first. Greetings, Hugo. Way is blocked. What is that? I can't tell what that square is. 
It looks clear. Why is it blocked? You started playing, but you couldn't get spellcasting macros to work. Yeah, I solved that by playing a warrior. Whoa. Angband Live just did some funky shit. Um, if you're an Angband Live player, actually, I can just do this. I was going to say, how do I get the screen to completely redraw, but that works. This takes us where? Oh, back to the town, darn it. Oh, no. Wait, we're somewhere different, aren't we? This isn't the town I started in, is it? No, definitely not. This is way cuter. Oh, maybe we're not in a town at all. Right, this is the way it said that I could go to uh, a plane, and that's the plane we're in. So what's this other town? Let's go east. It's kind of fun, actually. I like this exploring part. I tend to go back and forth between wilderness and dungeons Dungeons and FA. Control R is refresh, really? Oh, wow, it really is. I thought it was Control L. Thanks. We definitely need to go somewhere more dangerous because this is hella boring. Or am I going to die to jackals now? Is that what's going to happen? Oops. Oh my gosh. Fighting in the open also sucks in these games. I think I am going to die. No, we're good. These things are pretty weak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not going well. Alright, so this should take me to a new town, yeah? Excellent. Gladden Fields. Oh, this is where um, a lot of the other races start the game. So let's see if anybody here is selling an extremely cheap shield. I never, It never occurred to me that no selling would be such a nerf in the early game in this game, because you're fighting things in the wilderness that don't drop money. Some tough jackals? Really? Worse than vanilla? I don't know about that. I feel like vanilla got a lot harder. This thing. This literally made me quit FA the first time. He just keeps chasing you and complaining. And he has like a million hit points. Oh, actually, I'm a warrior this time. I can actually do stuff. I think the first time I did this, I wasn't actually strong enough to beat him, and he does drop something decent. He also runs, though, doesn't he? Where'd he go? Oh my god. Does he speed up when he's hurt? What a jerk. Excellent. Where are you gonna go now, boy? Damn, he squeaked out. Oh, thank god. Three daggers. Excellent. Let's see what's in here. Or let's see what they are, I mean. Equip? Whoa, what's a throwing belt? I guess that's a quiver? No, I just want to wield it. Okay, let's go see if we can find some uh, <coughs> poor innocent souls to stab. Maybe it'll ID my weapon. Anybody else? I guess we could donate one of these, and it'll tell me what it is. Let's do that. What's a zero? Traveling merchant, cool. All right. Let's 
seems all right. Okay, so if I have blows per round three, that sounds good. Where do I see my damage? This is something vanilla is really good at. It tells you exactly how strong you are. Okay, so wielding it, you have three blows, do an average damage of five. It's better thrown. But it doesn't tell me how much better it is against evil things. Oh, because why isn't this one ID'd? That's fucking garbage. No. Okay, Nick. Fix your shit. <laughs> That's a bug. Come on, man. Um, I guess it wasn't in the stack, so sure. Okay, so we do 14 against evil creatures, 6 against others per blow. What about my longsword? Oh. Well. Okay. Alright, so there's not much else we can do here unless somebody has, like, a bargain basement shield on sale. So. Oh, and there's... Wow, this town sucks. At least my town has, like, commerce. What is this garbage place? I guess that's why it's a traveling merchant. There's nothing else here. Alchemy shop. Temple. And this is a dead end, huh? There's nothing else east of here, so we gotta go back. Well, that was fun. Cool detour. So definitely the minus side is I don't like fighting in the open. But the plus side is this exploring thing is pretty red. Plus Changband ostensibly had this, and all its variants had it. The new one sticks to this model a little bit, where you can't, I don't think you can zoom out to a... Like, Plus Chang has this map, the old ones have this map that you can zoom out. And then you can walk giant distances, kind of effectively, on a smaller map but then you get ambushed sometimes and stuff. Whereas the new one, you just have to walk, like like in this one. But this feels pretty cool, I don't know. There was this, um, I think I'm the only one on the planet who remembers this, but I used to play ages ago uh, when I was a kid on bulletin boards, well, well beyond when they were popular because I didn't have the internet. Okay, let me think a bit before I, yeah, right. are these guys still getting me? Yeah. This is definitely a the game designed by Nick. It's easy to tell. Because it does not give a shit if it's annoying and unfair. Um, the sun has risen. Nice. Right, so I used to uh, play a lot of games on bulletin boards. And one game that I really enjoyed was sort of a role-playing game that felt like an Angband variant, but I didn't know it at the time because I hadn't played any of those. It was called Aerobridge, and I highly encourage anybody who's listening to this to look it up. Because that game was wicked. There was like this giant world you could explore. Um, the massive wilderness, there were these towns, there was like actual quests, you could meet other players on the map and fight them. It was incredible for how old it was. Uh, really good. Same kind of feel to it. I used to just walk around exploring. So do I have gloves? I do not, so let's fix that. Do I even have body armor? Yeah, I have chainmail. Okay, so let's put some gloves on here. I thought I'd found something, no, they were the same, okay. I guess some kid dropped their mitts. <coughs> oh, we got some money, where from? All right, so we're back, nice. So we're back in Hith. Let's. I wonder what the word Hith means. Because Hith Lomir was that. Oh, this thing's probably difficult. And we're trapped. What do I got? Is a harpy evil? Nah. Just trying to. 
make a living like the rest of us. If I have to, I'll use my Berserker potion. Oh, here I am all worried, and then I one-shot it. I remember Harpies in Vanilla being a disaster, like they were impossible to kill. Arrow Bridge. Yeah, that's the one, Esty. Whoa, T4! <laughs> Are you actually following me on Twitch? I just assume nobody does, because I never do this. I don't know, streaming is just like not that fun, unless it's uh, like a laid back game or something. I like playing Street Fighter, but I can't stream it, because I don't know what it is with the game, I, I drop frames like crazy if I'm streaming. But yeah, that one I wouldn't mind streaming, but most everything else, too old for this. It's just fun to play Angband variants and like talk to people, because I mean, otherwise you're just that guy playing Angband alone in your room. Kind of sad. Okay. What? I didn't even see that. The issue with what I'm doing right now is that um, I'm playing on a television from my couch, which is really comfy. But move, you jerk. Uh, it's kind of hard to see the symbols, you know. I'm tempted to murder this guy just so I can get around. Oh my god. Thank you. Uh, this is really frustrating, actually. This was not well done. Why can't I just push past these guys? Okay, you're gonna die. Ooh. What did I do? Right, you can't use... No. Okay, so... From what I remember before, if you hold control and you push a direction, it should override... But I can't use control, because that's a browser control. How do I do this? I'm just going to tunnel. Oh, and then he got out of my way. Okay. You're in my favorites list, but I didn't remember it was you. <laughs> I was just like, oh, someone is playing Angband. I wonder what that is like. Do you ever play Crawl anymore, T4? I haven't played since like 0 0.16, and they're like... I don't know, 0.24 or something now. I'm really curious what it's like now, but not curious enough to try it, if that makes sense. I've got a bunch of those now, don't I? What's H? Okay, that's nice. You know, it's probably worth drop IDing a bunch of these potions as well. Haven't played in some time, but last time I did, I still sucked at Ogre Berserker, yeah. Ogres are hard, man. That life is not easy. This is a really big level. I just want to get out. Oh, wow, you can navigate this map, too. Man, this game's pretty good. I'm pretty impressed with this. Okay, so mountain, plain, plain. So I guess I can answer my own question. It should show me where the dungeon is, shouldn't it? We should just go hard left. Yeah, because if we're here, we can. this is good. Let's go do this little angle here. Dungeon, okay, so I guess that's where we want to be going. Mountain level 15. So I think the level 15 dungeon I think this is the one with Mim, the Petty Dwarf, or whatever he is, as the Dungeon Guardian, and I think that river one is maybe the one with Ungoliant? Maybe? Oh, there's a lot of dungeons. Mm. Okay. I need some help here. I don't actually know how this works. I wonder if maybe there's multiple dungeons each with their own guardian, but the first two guardians you kill give you the extra ability or whatever, or maybe they, certain guardians give you different things. I need to look this up. If anybody knows, if uh, I'm gonna end up posting this video on YouTube. If you know the answer to this, uh, 
I could use some help. At some point, I'll just go back look at some threads on the Angband forums, but realistically, I'll die long before this matters. Okay, let's go to Khazad Dun. We have some cash now, so let's see if we can find a shield. I really want to bash things with this shield. Oh, right. I started following you when you played that Bar Girl game. Yeah, that game is wicked. I never finished it, you know? I'm like an hour away from the end. What was that called? Sorry for the buzzing. The interface looks like Cell. Well, all Angban variants look like this. What was that? Valhalla. That's what that game is called. I was just complaining about how I finished Nier Automata and I was like worse than depressed for like 48 hours. It was so bad. Like the game was awesome, but man. Brutal. Okay. So who sells armor? I think it's number two is the armor shop, right? Yeah. Buzz off. No shields. All right, so in that case, let's um, let's use ID a bunch of this, not use ID, um, drop ID a bunch of this stuff. Cure light wounds, apple juice. Normally I would just use ID these things, but uh, knowing the maintainer, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if there's potions that can really screw you up just for fun. Ah, that's sad. So I just want to be a bit careful. Hello. Detect invis. I thought it might be that actually. Treasure detection. Glad I didn't read that one. Trap detection. Okay. I didn't really lose anything. Too bad. Let's get rid of these robes. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Let's drop these. So just to reiterate, I'm playing with an option called no selling, which is pretty popular in vanilla now. You can't sell stuff when monsters are s and um, money piles are supposed to give you more money. So just save some drudgery. Valhalla, I just like the soundtrack. The story was weird. I guess you have to be an alcoholic to get sucked into a game about drinks. No, man. It's, it's not about drinks. That game is about cyberpunk first, human relationships second, Drinking a distant third. That's why I like that game. It's really relaxing. The drinks are just there to like keep you awake, because you otherwise you're just reading. Okay, so two hundred bucks. Let's go see if we can buy some um, phase door scrolls in case, because that'll especially help in the wilderness. Well, sorry, my hypothesis is it will especially help in the wilderness. What do I know? Stop. I guess we could buy a better weapon too, but. I hate buying weapons in Eggband. I just feel like it's a waste of money. Uh, D. So, yeah, let's get seven. Excellent. I play games to avoid human relationships. Yeah, but it's like... It's not a human relationship, right? It's a literary relationship. I don't know, are you playing anything right now? I am definitely, definitely going to play Fantasy Star Online 2. I played a bunch of the Japanese uh, servers. I played a bunch on the Japanese servers. And I am looking forward to that game coming out in the US and Canada. Your way is blocked. Sure. What's this green cross? How do you examine ground? Can you do that? Whatever, I don't care enough. Okay, so some some of these rebel symbols are passable and some of them aren't. It's confusing. I just bought the new version of how do you say that? AOE or AOE two? I've never heard of that. Oh, Age of Empires two. I bet you mean. 
There's a new version of Age of Empires 2, is that right? You know what I just realized? I was earlier fighting a harpy. And I was like, damn, these things used to bust me up in vanilla. I'm wrong. The thing that used to be on H that's really dangerous is a hippogriff. I feel like it used to be better for me to record these videos when I actually knew stuff. Now I've forgotten everything because I don't play these games anymore and I don't really watch them anymore. Up until not that long ago, um, oh my god. There used to be a server you could telnet into, termcast.org. This, Rogue, are you serious? This is actually really annoying. They get, um, the NPCs who are moving, they displace you when they move, the same way that you displace uh, characters in like vanilla and stuff, but I can't displace them, or I do and then they get a chance. I guess if I was higher speed, this would be fine. What is wrong with this bloody, Jelly, why does this take so long to kill? <sighs> There's no way around, is there? Okay. So, I wish I could do this in real life. I'm going to avoid people by tunneling through granite. Did I just get a level? Thank goodness. Okay. Dude. Now where's he going? Oh, maybe because I got that jelly out of the way, he's like booking it now. Oh my god. This is actually pretty frustrating. What is wrong with the pathfinding on these things? Just pick a lane. Get out of mine. How long is a match? A match? An FA Angman? <laughs> Bro, it's not tennis. Like, how long does a game take? I mean, if you die, not very long at all. Um, I'd say most of these bigger variants, I would imagine if you don't know what you're doing, but you somehow don't die, I'm guessing it would take 30 or 40 hours to win a character, I'm guessing. It takes a long time. I think people who know what they're doing, if they're going to win, probably, mm, I don't know, what, 20 hours? I knew match was the wrong word. It's okay. Sorry, I'm being a jerk. You speak English way better than I speak Portuguese. Let's put it that way. Uh, blessings. Okay, let's try to make it to that, that town. Okay, this guy is a skill check, I think, or what do you call that? Every time, I play this game very few times, he's killed me every time. So, let's see. He's a hobbit. Oh, it doesn't tell you what danger level he is. Okay, so I'm stunned, so I'm going to walk this off. Um... I really wish I had that shield. How are we doing here? Fuck it. Awesome hit. What did he just do? He cast a spell? Oh, wow. Okay. There seems to be a lot of damage variants in this game. I'll take that. Okay, so that Berserk Strength use was probably a waste, but... Here we are. He dropped, he just dropped a vanilla dagger. Oh, wow. You no longer feel berserk. It's nice. See a path west of Eriador. Oh, I guess that's how they use the symbols here. Usually this would mean downstairs, and the opposite, the right um, angle brace would mean downstairs. 
But in this wilderness, left angle brace means less danger, and right angle brace means more danger. Cool. So this place is at our danger level, right? No. We're still two levels above. In the, I don't know what FA is like, but in vanilla, I like to be basically, as, especially as a warrior, I would say like 5 to 10 levels ahead of my character level in the early game pretty quickly. I mean, sorry. From like character level 1 to character level like 5, you need to just take your time a little bit because you're very squishy. But beyond that, I like to run a little bit. That's probably why you could kill him so easily. Because I'm, <laughs> I'm OP for this area. The length of my beard is distressing my enemies and giving me the edge up in these battles. How long is my beard, actually? It should probably say, you are one of two children of a dwarven thief. You are a well-like child. Doesn't it? A one-foot beard. <laughs> I was right. You have dark brown eyes, straight brown hair, a one-foot beard. I can't, I'd be surprised at a dwarf with straight hair. I feel like they always have, like, messy-ass hairdos. He only had a basic dagger, that's why I killed him so quickly. Maybe. What the shit is this? Silamir the skeleton desires to test your metal. Sounds like a man of war saying. Test your metal. Um well, I don't really desire to test his metal if he's gonna kill me, so let's go see. Are there like So actually no, I'm curious. If I get out of here, do I like fail a quest or something? Because this is an Angband thing sometimes, or just like a lot of variants do this. You come into a level, it tells you there's like a quest or a challenge, and if you leave, you fail it. So let's see. Nope. But now he's not here anymore? Or am I just supposed to, supposed to remember? I'll, I'll be honest, this game has a lot more mechanics than I expected. I thought it was vanilla with wilderness, but... What did I just get? Detecting this, okay. What's that thing? Yes, guys! We got ourselves a shield. What do you call the party you throw when you find your first shield? I'd call it a shield bash. Can I throw these potions? Let's try. Where's the monster that wants to be experimented on? That snake looks like a likely party. Is V throwing this? Yeah, okay, so... C up. That didn't do what I wanted it to. Thanks, T4. I was proud of that joke. I was watching AGQ, uh, Awesome Games Done Quick, just a little bit like the VODs recently. And by recently, I mean tonight when I was eating dinner. And I watched the Ninja Turtles arcade run. And they had a terrific joke in that run. The way it went was he said, what does Raphael say when somebody, or what does Raphael do when somebody tells a pun? The answer was that he sighs. I love that. I have a dubious saber. I don't remember if dubious means like poor quality or if it means it's risky to equip it, so I'm not gonna, but. Is that a bow? No, just arrows. Sure, I'll take some. Good arrows. Okay, so let's quiver those. It touches you. Okay. Uh, 
Who's eating my food? Bro, chill out. Does my detect invisible sc uh, scroll really only work for one turn? Because that's pretty trash. Why the heck wouldn't that be a duration? I'm scared to shift run here, because... Well, maybe that's naive, or stupid. Okay, let's go get that money. Did I miss stuff? More arrows, sure. Oh, he's gonna trash my stuff. Well, we've come this far, let's just kill him. Good. Two platinum ones. How bad are my gloves? Well, luckily, I think we found two of those, right? Yeah, I get it. Well, I guess I must have dropped the other one. Oh, well. One AC, no big deal. Okay, so where are we now? Stop. Oh yeah, we're still only at level six. Okay, let's go down to this town. I'm curious about this town. And then, why don't I go do a run on that mountain that's level nine, and I might call from there. Where the hell am I? I'm having fun. But there's a specific point in the Angband variant like gameplay loop that it becomes extremely addictive. This is definitely not it yet. This is just kind of tedious, but we'll get there. Confident. But what that means is I get tired after like an hour. Alright, dear chat, does anybody see a staircase near the bottom? I want out of here. There we go. Wow, another shitty town. What's that? Oh. These little Garbo towns are like where people are born and they're like, when I grow up, I'm gonna move to Khazad Doom. So I'm tired of this small town. Gotta kick the dust off my feet. How do you not get how size are related to Raphael? Think for a second what Raphael fights with. What's that weapon called? I thought that pun was brilliant, because it was about puns. It's a self-referential pun. Um, I mean, who am I kidding? I can't afford anything. That's worse than my... I thought I was good at pole arms. Plus the skill would be two. Throwing... Oh, this game does have two-handed weapons, eh? Oh, I was so Canadian. Sorry. Anyways. Pole-mounted weapons are often cumbersome and may require two hands to wield. Pretty sure vanilla doesn't have that. Like, you can have a Mesa Disruption which is like a billion pounds. And have a shield still, right? <coughs> it's almost as good as my longsword, but not quite. Okay, so we can ditch some of this stuff just to find out what it is. I 
I mean, I could have just tested that. That was stupid. I think they're going to suck at those anyways. I just don't want this dagger. You can keep it. Uh, let's see what dubious means. Yeah, so dubious doesn't mean, like, sticky curse. It just means it's bad. Don't need that spear. The rest, we're good. Okay, let's try to get back to that mountain. Or wherever. Yeah, mountain. I'm dumb. I should have gone to the other town, to the left. Let's do that. Can I tell what time it is? Maybe there's like control T or, oh, I can't control. Uh, okay, where's commands? Oh my God, I forgot. How does anyone start to learn how to play these games? Look at this. <laughs> Every letter of the alphabet and it's uppercase, plus symbols, plus control characters. G, L, H, F. This is absurd. Time of day, control T. I can't do that. I don't think it'll open a new tab. Hey, if you're watching and you play on Angband Live much, uh, my question for you is if I want to hit control something, how do I do that? Does, I mean, it doesn't, it's not the same, but does shift, does this work? Oh, it does work. I figured it out myself. Is that... Wow. So what I did was I hit shift six, which is the control character, like the literal, not actually, but the literal rendering of the control character in a terminal. I wonder if they, if Gwarl added that for Angband Live, or if that's in every Angband variant. Anyways, the time is 2.48 p.m. Okay, so you didn't remember Raphael's weapons at all? I don't even know what to say to you. You clearly did not grow up in the 90s, that's all I'll say. Okay, so we're kind of finally above our character level. A sling. Kind of useless, but... Who are you? A Lemur. Why is there just a random demon walking around the mountains? That's what a Lemur is, right? It's a demon. The larval form of a... Some demon... <laughs> Had a kid and just like dumped it at the side of the road, and that's why we're here. He had a lot of kids, actually. These things are pretty tanky. I will say that this game has way greater damage variation than vanilla. I always feel in vanilla, and actually, Puss Chang as well. It's like hit, 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 and it's like kind of constant damage all the time. This time I'm just like rando one-shotting things. There's really too many of these. Um, let's try this. So that was kind of what I wanted. Okay, are they gonna follow? Let's see if I can find the skeleton. When I learn lots of hotkeys and later forget everything, I know I'm never playing that game again. I've played these games so, so much in the past that I don't think about what I'm doing. I just do it and usually works. Okay, uh, sorry, I got distracted. What I was thinking is, now that we're here, I'm curious about the skeleton that wants to challenge us. So let's go see if we can find him. So that's kind of cool to know. A mage staff? That sounds cool. What does that do? Is it just a fancy name for staff? Provides radius one light. Oh, you can activate it to restore a little mana. That's cool. I mean, I don't need that, but that's pretty cool. Man, this game is cool. Why didn't I ever play this before? Okay, who are you? The Thief of the Mountains. What's with all these jackass hobbits in the mountains? Uh, he's got speed. Mm, okay, let's try this. 
No, I want to... What? Oh, I should have put my daggers in... Whatever. Wow. This dude got wrecked. How many blows is he going to get? Oh no, I forgot about that. That's so cheap. What did he steal? Flask of oil. I'm okay. Could have been worse. Actually, this is not such a bad place for them to disappear in a puff of smoke because I get so much line of sight to everything. Shit, 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 I didn't see him. This is absurd. He's getting like four blows around and he's getting two rounds. <laughs> Anyways, let's see if I can kill him in one shot. Yas. That shield bash is redonkulous. I think that's where the uh, huge damage variation is coming in. You see a flask of oil. Oh, he drops the stuff I stole too. Ooh, an excellent spike club. Let's wield that for a bit. Damn, I've been playing this for an hour. It feels like I just got started. These games are such a time suck. Uh, and then you die and it's for all for nothing. Just like real life. I stumbled? Why did I stumble? Ooh. Damn. Nice. Why was he here again? Oh yeah, I wanted to fight that skeleton. Let's see if we can find him. I think it means he's here, right? Otherwise, what good is it? and that sucks. What time is it? I wonder what time it gets dark in. Because I just want the line of sight. Let's maybe rest until sunrise. Hello? No? Yeah, it worked. I'm just here waiting for that golden moment when your fly ability will run out just as you fly over deep water. How the hell did you remember that? I don't remember that. Or I didn't remember that. What did that say? Armsman hit. Oh, I guess it tells me when I get crits because of that move. That's the first time that's happened, I think. Where's this bloody skeleton? Does he even exist? Green elf novice. Is that a bad guy for me? I guess this elf hates me because I'm a dwarf. It's racist. What's that? That dude's my friend. Who are you? Yeah, this is rude. These elves are so mean. So wait, the novice rogue is fine with me, but the plaid wants to kill me. So does the mage. Everyone wants to kill me except the rogues. The warriors are okay too. What is, help, this makes no sense. Yeah, definitely want to gank the mage. Nice work, bro. He healed himself. That was pretty smart. A Molly Bednam wand. Wow. Oh, is that the skeleton? Why is the worm mass? Is that a little W? I thought it looked big. 
Okay, let's kill this dude before that gets out of control. Actually, that's brutal. Can worm masses breed explosively in the wilderness? You'd never be able to get away. Okay, this might be him. Silamir the skeleton. And damn it, I wonder if I should switch to my... Oh my goodness. Why do I get to know everything about him? You feel you know it and it knows you. That's creepy. Moves at normal speed. He's evil, undead, 18 points. He may shoot little arrows, cute. He is magical, casting spells intelligently, which blink self. That sounds annoying. Or terrify. Life rating of 90. He can, oh yeah, whatever. Cold and poison, nether, blah, blah, blah. I mean, he sounds pretty trash. Tiny pick is gone. I had a pick of that death in my, oh. Oh, no way. Uh, I'm pretty sure the crawl servers save like literally everything forever. So you can go back and see a T2I wreck if you ever want to. I should go back and find that. I think I have it recorded somewhere actually. Okay, back to business. Um, have I figured out what this weapon's about yet? No, I haven't, have I? Okay, so I think for now I'm just going to go with what works, which is I'm going to grab this slay evil thing. And maybe I'll try throwing the other one. That didn't work. Huh, he's pretty tough actually. Nice. Wow, I just got nothing. Disappointing, man. Okay, we're on level 10. So let's try to go get that, uh, let's get to that town that was west of the mountains. Although I almost got my ass handed to me in the mountains. Let's, let's see if I can do that first. Get through first. I'm gonna test this wand on this poor little R. Holy shit. Was that stinking cloud? Yeah. Okay. Short bow, definitely want that. Unless it's dubious. Let's put that on. Okay, so now we can shoot some arrows. I wonder. Huh? Why is F bash? How do I shoot? Cool. What is shoot? Why is little t fire? <laughs> I'll take it. Let's try again. Little t. That's p, right? Or oh, I can't read it. All right. I just prefer bashing things. It's way easier. somewhere else. Nice. That's actually pretty handy. Do they stack? Wow, that's good. Alright, let's try not to die this time. Who are you? Nice. Do these things reproduce? No. Okay. Uh, let's try this. I'm not feeling great about it, but... He doesn't move, does he? Okay, so that, let's just not. Yeah, I 
don't see any point in trashing all our equipment just to get a unique kill. Why does everything have acid? This is like old Angband. I used to bitch and complain about this so much. Yeah, I was waiting for that. Basically, there's a point in old in older versions of vanilla, not even that old, where from like level five to like level thirty, everything shot you with acid. Everything. It was so annoying. Trusting spear, cool. That sounds trash. Oh, my club is slay evil. Wicked. I was hoping. You pound the mains. What do you call a mains that can only turn left? I would call them a main gauche. You need to understand French to get that pun. Sorry. Okay. This is a pretty good experience grind here. <laughs> Let's just smash these things. Do they do anything other than hit? I guess it's not a very good pun because you would read that man mango right? Oh well. I've never heard anyone say that word out loud, actually. You know the weapon that you, uh, it's like a dagger that you wear as a glove. They have them, they're usually very good in old uh, vanilla Angband because they're very light but they tend to hit hard. And light weapons are OD and vanilla when you're early in the game. Okay, this is not so bad, we're almost through here. I just, how far are we to the left side of the screen? It's still far, huh? Oh no! I was not paying attention. Hit to attack, hit to attack, hit to attack, hit to attack. A nasty piece of work, Broda picks on defenseless women and children. Wow, what a scumbag. Th is that the guy who, um... No. Broda, did we just invent this guy for Angband? Who was the... Didn't Saruman have like a scumbag assistant when he took over the Shire? No, I'm getting confused with Wormtongue. And this is supposed to be first stage, so it should not be that. This guy is definitely going to lose. Yeah, okay. Robe, who cares? Yeah, worm tongue. I remember. A mangosh is a parian dagger, I believe. Yeah. I think in my head it was like a glove that you wore that had a spike coming out of it or something. Not sure where I got that from. I feel like we're getting closer. What's a king cobra doing just walking around the mountains? Is that a staff? Cottonwood staff. That's what I was hoping it was. Oh, no, 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 sorry. I was hoping it was light. Detect treasure is not very useful. Although, I do need that hat. And it would be nice to see what that money is. We made it! Belagost! 
These are the guys that make all the matox that I like in Sill. Wow, I just clubbed a mercenary to death when I walked into town. That was my first, first order of business. Not go to the pub and get a drink, not do some shopping. Beat a sleeping mercenary to death in the streets in broad daylight. Or nightlight. What time is it? 7.43. It's dusk, I guess. Um... Oh yeah, I wanted to go do some stuff. What's this? Good. Buzz off. Let's go over here. We need maybe just a couple more rations. I'll take one more flask just in case. That cloak, I was going to say it's pretty good, but hella expensive. Um... I don't need trash arrows. Don't need these torches. Hey Debo, great to see you recording again. Your old still videos, and I think you might have posted on TL.net, got me into playing roguelikes. Wow. I posted on Team Liquid, really? I mean, sorry, about roguelikes, specifically? Maybe I did. I mean, I started a very long time ago. I used to be more active on Team Liquid when StarCraft II first came out, because I was like really stoked about it, at least watching it. And then I just stopped. I only watch Brood War now. Yeah, I think so. I believe you. Well, thanks, man. You're coming near the tail end of the stream, but uh, I am having fun. I'm not going to like say things about my future in streaming and stuff, but right now I'm having fun playing this specific game until I die. Uh, not, not me die, until my character dies. So at the very least, I'll probably do this a couple more times. Uh, okay, I don't need a bottle. I want to see what this potion does. Ritualized poison. Pishita. That's an adorable sounding scroll. Object detection. Okay, well this is about as far as I wanted to get actually. We didn't die, we made it to CL12, which I think is the strongest I've ever been in FA. Um, we found a shield. What I want to do for next time is just maybe learn a bit about how the dungeons work, but I guess, you know, just thinking logically. Probably what I want to do is go to the lowest level dungeon that's near me, right? So. We're pretty close, wasn't it around here? Oh wow, okay, we can just keep grinding this way, right? But uh, we saw a level 15 dungeon, did we not? Yeah, here, okay. So where am I? This is really convoluted. Somebody should dig a tunnel between this mountain and this forest, but... Okay, now I'm getting confused. Current, okay, so we're here, right? So I can go... I mean, we can spend some time here. Oh, we can just go straight here. That's perfect. That's very easy. So we'll slowly progress left, gain some levels, get to this dungeon, which I expect nothing. Actually, I was going to say I expect things, but I don't know what to expect. Like, how deep are dungeons in FA? How many floors? I don't know. Who can tell me? I dug it up. It's a bit of, oh, wow, I posted about Sill. Like, I started a thread. Huh. Cool. I, I mean, I was super stoked about Sail when it came out. Like, really, really stoked. Um, it was just, like, so, so different. Okay. So that's the plan for next time, y'all. We're gonna... I mean, I don't want to promise too much. Odds of me dying are very high all the time. This game's supposed to be really hard. Uh, not so much really hard, just really brutal. Um, and there's all kinds of mechanics I don't know about. So, And I don't make good decisions in the best of times. So we'll see what we can do. But thanks for joining. I think uh, you know, sometime tomorrow I'll upload basically this video unedited 
the channel and then probably find some more people complaining about how quiet my voice is and then I'll be sad and then we'll try playing again. How's that? Yeah, so far I'm like really impressed with this variant. I don't know if it's because I haven't played a reasonably normal Angband variant in a while or just because I haven't played a roguelike in a while, but I don't know. Or maybe it's just good. Seems pretty cool. I do want to figure out the the gist of the dungeons, but other than that, cool. All right, thanks for joining, folks. Catch you next time. See if I can find OBS to stop the darn thing. Ciao.